We are going to solve 2019 Amy 2 American Invitational Mathematics Examination Problem number 6. At first, we read the problem. I tell you the important things, basic things we need for this problem. And then I will solve this with two solutions. Before reading the problem, thanks for subscribing and like my video. So let's read. It says what? Uh, all the bases that the problem uh, we don't. Uh, are not specified for example like this like this all bases are b b is at least two x is at least one three log square root of x log x equal to 56 log x in base log x equal to 54 and the problem says b equal to what so let me tell you all important things we need for example the first point we need is what the definition of log you, you can use the time codes if you know the rules of logarithm you can go straight forward to the solution of this problem so the first thing it says log a in base b it is what you should say b to the power of what is a power of what is a so for example log 8 in base 2 is what you say b b is 2 b 2 to the power of what is 8 3 so if you have m then it is equivalent look b to the power of what here is m b to the power of m is a so if you have this you can consider b raised to this which will be a b raised to m so b raised to log a b instead of m i can write this equal to what equal to a and this idea is important when you have this basis b you raise b to the power of both sides the second rule is what log x y equal to log x plus log y the third rule is log x to the power of m and bases in all of them are you can take m in front of log it will be m log x and the last rule that is important there are around 10 important rules in logarithm and also 40 important rules in each topic algebra number theory geometry and combinatorics if you want to learn them feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description so the next rule is what you say log a b times log b c you can cancel this to b it will be log a c and as a result of this rule if you have log for example a b you can for example you want to reach them uh, consider them as for example another log another basis so you say log a c log b c and I want to show it is equivalent to this why if you cross multiply it will be log a b times log bc equal to log ac and like here look bb you cancel ac like here bb cancel ac so here we want to solve the problem the first solution we only work with logs the second solution the only difference is we use changing variables so let's solve okay first part look here we have two things that we have product here and we said if you have for example log x y it is log x plus log y so if i factor from three it will be log a square root of x plus log this part log log x equal to 56 and this is for this one now here i can say what i can say log x root x is what log root x is log x to the power of what a square root of x is x to the power of what x to the power of 1 over 2 and if i use this rule i can take m in front of that so here i can say it is one half log x now if we consider this part it is log x log in base log x i want to see how can i write it from this part if i copy this and want to use exactly this part copy and paste it here okay so here i say okay x here log x so my a in this part 
this part is A for me, this part is, uh, because I want to, that this problem, for example, here is B. So, I say what? C is, let me, let me change B and C, because in problem we have C. C and B, this will be B, and this part will be C and B, we'll change. Okay, we only change C and B. So, consider it is A, it is C. So, I can say it is equal to what? Log A, it means log X. In base B, the pro in problem, we said we don't write B. Log C, C is what this? It will be what? Log, log X. And it is equal to what? 54. So, here it's so much good. Why? Because we can say if we cross multiply log X equal to 54 log log X. And if we divide both sides by 54, log x over 54 equal to log of log of x. Now, I want to replace this with this in this equality and find the things we want. Copy. Place it here. Okay, so here I said what? I said I can write it. It is log x over x to the power of one over two, and this part with the rules I told you in the beginning of the in the beginning of the video, it is this. So I say what if I multiply three by this, it will be three over two log x plus three times log of log of x. Log of log of x is what is log of x over fifty four equal to what? Uh, we don't need write it here fifty six now. Here I say if we divide 3, 3, 54 by 3 will be 18. And if I factor from log x, it will be 3 over 2 plus 1 over 18 equal to 56. And if I use common denominator, it will be 18. 9 times 3, 27 plus 1 equal to 56. So log x times 27 plus 1, 28 over 18 equal to 56. If I divide both sides by 28, it will be 2. And we conclude log x equal to multiply both sides by 18. 2 times 18, 36. We know the problem says when we don't write base, it is b in base b. And we want to find b. Now here, I can say what? I can say, okay. So log x in base b is 36. So, before, let, let's now not use B, we've reached this, and then we want to use this part, that log X equal to 54 log of log of X. Okay, if you replace log X with 36, here, 36, so we conclude 36 equal to 54 log of 36. 36.54, we can divide both sides by what? By 18. So 2 equal to 3 log 36. And then we can say log 36 equal to what? We divide both sides by 3, 2 over 3, and it is B. And by the definition of logarithm in first part, and one important idea is raise B to the power of this. If we raise B to the power of these numbers, the left-hand side will be 36 the right hand side will be b to the power of 2 over 3. Now, I uh, take a square root from both sides. It will be 6 raised to the power of 1 over 2. The right side will be b 1 over 3. Then I raise both sides to the power of 3. So it will be what? b equal to 216. Okay, now we want to solve it with second solution with changing variable look here because we have log of for example log of x again we have log x i consider this part as for example we can call it y okay so here 3 log root x times y equal to 56 and here you can say oh, we don't have 3 here log of log x is what is y so I consider y equal to log x. 
y x in base y equal to 54 now if we consider first part again we can say it is 3 this it is product of two things you can say log root x plus log y equal to 56 now this one you can say log root x equal to log root x is x to the power of what 1 over 2 and by the rule in the beginning of the video it will be 1 half log x now if we replace it will be 3 1 half log x plus log y equal to 56 and again because we said log x is y we can write this and then it will be 3 y over 2 plus log y equal to 56 and also we know here from here log x base of y equal to 54 okay because here is y from beginning of the video if you raise y to the power of this y to the power of this number the left side will be x the right side will be y to the power of 54 so look here we expand it if we use the main equality here okay and we use x because we've reached x equal to y to the power of 54 if we replace it it will be 3 log then root x is what from this part root x is x to the power of one half equal y to the power of 54 over 2 which will be 27 so it will be y to the power of 27 and log x is what by the definition of y we consider it is y equal to 56 so 3 log y to the power of 28 equal to 56 now we can say what y to the power of 28 so we can say 3 we have 3 here 28 in the beginning of the video i said this log y you can take power in front of log equal to 56 if you divide both sides by 28 it will be 2 and log y equal to 2 over 3 the problem says all the bases that are not specified is b so we write b here if you raise b to the power of both sides from beginning of the video y equal to b to the power of 2 over 3 now we can say what was the relationship of x and y x is y to the power of 54 x is y to the power of 54 so you can say replace y with b to the power of 2 over 3 54 and it will be b squared 54 over 3 is 18 2 over 3 times 54 54 over 3 18 2 times 18 b to the power of 36 okay so we found y in terms of b and x in terms of b the definition of y was what log x in base b y is what b to the power of 2 over 3 it is a log x is what b to the power of 36 in base b it is from the beginning of the video i said it is the number b to the power of what is b to the power of 36 so 36 and we conclude what b to the power of 2 over 3 equal to 36 if we consider square root of or raised to the power of one half it will be b to the power of one over three equal 36 square root of that will be six now if i raise both sides to the power of three it will be b equal to six to the power of three or six cubed which will be 216 so we saw with also second solution if you had any question about this solution or other solutions feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description also there are as i said 50 important 40 50 important ideas in each topic geometry number theory algebra and combinatorics if you had any question if you want to learn them send message to my whatsapp number and also thanks for subscribing and like my videos and thanks for watching this video you can use my other playlist to improve your problem solving harvard mit math tournament usa math olympiad amc amy problems bmo british math olympiads and also other playlists imo international and so on